Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. If you want to see extra content, join our Patreon page. Yo, yo, people, get tuned here for another video. So, guys, we're here in Farming Simulator 19, and we have a special one, something that I don't think we've really ever done before, and that is we will be using this Mercedes uh, truck. It's, it's like a it's a mini truck, um, but it is it does classify as a truck. It's a it's a Mercedes Sprinter to be exact. The, the, the three three nineteen Blue Tech. I don't know if that's part of the name. Uh, I, I, I guess it's the model. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so either way, we're going to be filling this thing up uh, with lots of different just random things that we need to bring over to our shop. So, uh, yeah, we, we have this new shop. It looks really good. You guys saw it in the last video. But we have a lot of stuff that we need to bring over there, as I mentioned in the past. So that, that that's literally what we're going to be doing. So let's hop on in here and we'll start this thing up. Now, guys, I want to say, uh, let me know how the game audio is during this video. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not always the best with judging the volume for the game audio. Uh, I, I, I've, I've tried to raise it quite a bit for this video. Hopefully you guys can hear it. If you still can't hear it, then I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it shouldn't be too loud, but like, if I honk, you should, you should have been able to hear that. I'm hoping. If you couldn't, then that's unfortunate. Um, I'll, I'll try working that. I'm guessing if I'm in first person though, can you hear anything? I don't think if I'm in first person, you can hear anything. So if we do use first person, I'll, we will try and adjust the volume uh, for those moments. Guys, we're almost at the location where everything is. So yeah, it was just like a shipment of stuff, just random assortment of stuff that we got. Lots of like boxes, extension cords. You guys see it. It's right here. And we got some barrels too in case we do need that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to open this up now something I want to say guys here we can turn off the straps uh, something I want to say about this vehicle is the back doors I don't believe actually have collision I think the side doors do but the back one doesn't which means to my knowledge stuff can just kind of fly out of the back so we're gonna have to be, be kind of careful if that does happen my apologies uh, we'll try and just kind of ignore it because there's really nothing I can do about that I'm not 100% sure how to make this be like a physical uh, backing if because since it's not already one Oh, look at that, guys. The Mercedes logo is like... That's, okay, that's interesting. Okay, either way. Uh, yeah, let's start loading up. So, we don't have too much space. These barrels, they take up a lot of space. I haven't even checked if they fit. If they don't, then they don't fit. We can figure out a different way. Oh, they do fit. They're tight. Oh, they they weigh this. Look at... Oh. Um... Um... I think that might be weighing it... Yep. Yeah, that, that might be weighing it down too much. Here, let's see how it looks normally. Oh, okay, I guess that is how it normally looks. Um, hmm, should we drive with these? Okay, you know what? We'll first stack it with the other stuff, and then maybe we'll put those at the back, because hopefully those are a bit heavier and they won't fall out. I'm not 100% sure. We will have to see. Uh, but yeah, okay, so let's start loading up these boxes, guys. And everything here is pretty much light enough that we can just do it by hand. Uh, if you guys want to see a video where I have, like, pallets that we have to uh, move over, then let me know. Because, yeah, we can do a video dedicated to that. I was going to actually have some pallets in this video. But the thing is, uh, the pallets don't actually fit in this vehicle at all. Uh, I was testing it out and they, they just they just don't fit. Uh, we also have some bottles, guys, because, you know, you got to gotta stay hydrated, right? Hydrated on beer. <laughs> okay, let's put that there. We're going to try aligning these as nicely as we can. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it, how it is. Okay, here we go. Uh, by the way, is this Mercedes? I wish I could tell you where it was from. I got it quite a while ago, actually. Uh, I've used it in other videos, I think. Um, I, uh, it's definitely public. Like, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's public. But I'm just not 100% sure on where it's from. I would probably say if you really want to find this mod, check on Mod Network. Search, like, Mercedes. See if you can find it there. Uh, that would be my best recommendation if it's not on like there's a good chance this could have been on mod hub even like I got guys I've had this vehicle for a while like li like I as long as I can remember I have really had this vehicle um, it's it's definitely been quite quite a while now the game only came out in well I got access to the game early so it was like November uh, 15th I think I got the game right Obviously, th there's no mods really out at first, um, especially when it was just, like, uh, YouTubers who had access. But, do I, guys, do I classify as a YouTuber now? 
How how many subscribers do you need to classify as a YouTuber? Or how often do you have to put? I think I do. I think I classify as a YouTuber now because I post daily for quite a while. Now there's lots of YouTubers that don't post daily, but I think with the size of my following, like I don't. Some people classify a YouTuber as just anyone who posts videos, uh, which I could I could see how that could be correct too. So I don't know. But would you guys classify me as like a YouTuber? I I for, I don't know. I don't know. Let let me let me know, guys. Let me know. I'm curious about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like when I was younger, I wrote on something I was like, my dream is to become a YouTuber. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm in grade 12, you guys didn't know. Um, now, I, I did not, I did not ever say, I want to be a YouTuber in grade 12, though. Or at least I didn't, like, have a higher voice. Okay, what, uh, these bottles, I will have to say, are probably broken now. Can you, uh, rotate? There we go. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just try, like, putting these, like, far, oh, no. That, um, that throws a lot faster than I was expecting. Can we fit if we, like, crouch? No? Hmm. I want them to maybe raise the height. Oh, here, here we go. Okay. Let's do that. And then we should be able to rotate this one. And there we go. Okay. I want to put down some strap. Oh, we're stuck. Uh, are we stuck? No. No, come on. If we got in here, we can get out of here. Uh, there we go. No, no, there we go. Okay. Uh, will a strap do anything? That is a negative. Okay, so we're going to be rolling with no straps on anything. Um, yeah, although these are in-game textures, I believe uh, it, like it, I, it is a mod I have downloaded to get these in-game. One of those, like, deco craft, deco packs, whatever. I saw actually a new one got released on Mod Hub today, but... Or, not Mod Hub, on Mod Network I saw it, but... It didn't really interest me that much. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't have good pictures up for it, but it's something... It just seemed very generic. Um, but, like, they, it seems like... I, I don't know. I, I Guys, I was... Like, anyone who makes mods, I like, I respect your dedication. Um, like, I appreciate... Like, we all appreciate it. But, obviously, there's some mods that are better than others. That's just the way it is. That's the same, like... Any modder out there, right? If you, they make multiple mods, it's going to be some mods that you may like better than others, right? Depending on your purpose, right? Like, for, okay, an example could be, like, the KTM mod, right? I love that mod. But it's not in this video because, like, why would I need it in this video? There really isn't a reason to have it in the video. Um, oh, also, guys, I want to just say one more time. We have gained quite a few followers on Instagram. I need to post a photo soon or something. You guys, I'm like the most stereotypical like grade 12 teenage boy when it comes to Instagram. Just like rarely posting. Um, but it's just like I, I post photo. Like, I, okay, I don't take many photos of myself. I know guys, it's weird. It's weird. Or at least no photos really of like my full face or full body or anything. Like it's, if I take a photo, it's usually like half my face sending it to someone. Like it's not, I don't really take like photos that often right i'm not one of those uh, no one really like none of like my close friends really too big into like the oh every time we hang out let's take photos <laughs> um the, and now if you're one of those people though guys like i i respect that it's just it's just not not who i am and none of my friends really like that so i don't really have many photos that i take often of myself um but i don't know i don't know you, you guys sometimes like ask me it's like send me a photo of how we looked right now i'm like oh, like when i got my last haircut you guys asked me to send a photo and i i did i did but it was like i don't know i don't know i, I just i just don't often take photos do you guys do, let me know guys do you, if you take photos I, i'm asking a lot of questions this video um okay i could really do without like i if we were a little bit shorter or the vehicle's interior was a little bit taller i would i would appreciate that um like we're struggling to move around there we go. Okay. Can we get out of here? Uh, it's like, I'm, I'm trying to move guys. Um, um, oh, oh, we got the, there we go. Okay. We just have like two more. We'll throw the extension cords on top of stuff. Probably here. You know what? Can we just like, just, yeah, just do that. <laughs> that that's a lot easier for these last two. We have lots of space. We wanted to make sure we had enough space and we do. So we're, we're all good. Um, I guess we could put these on top of here. Hopefully the collision in this thing's pretty 
pretty good. We'll have to see. Again, these back doors don't work, but yeah, there's no. Ch even if this thing is empty, I don't really know if we could fit all those, uh, all those barrels in here. So if we leave some barrels, it's okay. The barrels are actually empty, so yeah, that that's also why we can lift them by hand. If they were like stacked full of stuff, it would it would be it would be a little bit challenging. It would definitely be a bit challenging. Here we go. Okay. There's two more. This one. And last one. There we go. By the way, guys, also, we're getting closer and closer to 800 members on Discord server. It's really cool. The community... Guys, the community... Honestly, I want to say we have one of the best Discord communities. Like, you guys often say that, too. You guys are like, whoa, like, you're, like your Discord server is very active. Especially for, like... This like the amount of people in the server uh, is quite high when you think about like okay I obviously have a decent sized channel but not everyone has Discord right uh, people join and leave all the time okay let's see how this does again if the barrel comes at the back then it comes at the back there's nothing we can do better we'll try putting the straps down here let's see those yeah those straps are semi down yeah uh oh let's make sure that's all closed okay there we go we're gonna start going. It's not a long drive. Uh, I will actually try first person though. So here, let's go. Uh, do, do, do. There we go, okay. And I'll raise this vehicle volume to 100. See, I can still barely hear it. Is that better? No, I like I still can't hear it. Okay, you guys might be able to hear this. I can kind of hear it. Um, but yeah, okay, either way. Let's just start driving, guys. Uh, does this have working? Okay. Oh, the turn signals make a loud sound, but there's nothing inside for the turn signal. There's no kind of display. Why is our vehicle bouncing, too? That's my other question. Oh, see, guys? I I expected this to happen. I didn't expect it to happen so soon. I just realized when we did that how loud it was for you guys. My apologies. It, well, I'm assuming that was very loud. If it was... I am I am sorry. I did not did not mean to do that. Okay, what are we like hitting? I think there's so much in the back of here, the collision's all freaking out. There's a good chance this vehicle could just skyrocket and shoot up in the air at some point. And I just I just don't know. Like it's it could very well happen. But have we dropped anything yet? I don't I don't want to switch my view just in case it's really loud for you guys. Hmm. Okay. I right, guys, if you guys didn't know, um, okay, first off, I use Streamlabs to record. I think the link's actually down below, so, like, check it out. Um, but, yeah, um, most, like, Spencer, I know, does this, and lots of people do this. They record on different audio tracks. Um, I, for whatever reason, don't do that. It's something I've thought about doing a lot. Um, but last time I tried changing any big audio settings, uh, I, I messed up, and I... Yeah, it, I, I literally didn't have audio for a video, and it did not, it was not good. I had to, it was a military video we did uh, with Spencer, and I think it was the last one we ever, I, I, I think I did that one alone. I first did it with him. On his channel, I'm in the video, but then I had to get him to send me the map so I could just record by myself one, because I literally, like, the footage was unusable. You literally, like, what I by mistake did was I made it so I had to be, talking extremely loud for it to pick up my audio. I was trying to make it so it wouldn't... I was trying to set it so there wasn't too much background noise, but I set, like, the minimum volume or the maximum volume set. Like, I set it incorrectly, and it just didn't go too good. So that's why I've been nervous to change any audio settings. Um, but I, I, I really should be recording multiple audio tracks, and obviously I can test it out afterwards. I just haven't... Really had time to do it, and I just keep forgetting too. That's a big thing. I just keep forgetting. I, I wonder how many things we still have in this vehicle. Okay. Either way, we are here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lower this volume. I think this was around what 40. This was around like 40. Uh, you guys can't hear that at all. I think you guys can hear that. Yeah, you should be able to. Okay. Is that barrel still in there? Hold up. Oh, it's about to fall out though. The barrel's still in there. We definitely dropped a lot of stuff on the way. Well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we did at least. I still need to fix this shop, by the way, guys. Like those two pictures there. I still need to fix that. But the rest is looking okay. 
So that's those two there. One got really squished and I don't know how, and the other one, I didn't realize it. there was an image behind it. So, yeah. Okay, either way, we got this here. Oh, that thing's really trying to fall out. You know what? We might have made it here with everything inside. There is a chance. Okay, so ideally I would bring this all upstairs. I just don't know if I have time. Because the stairs don't work correctly, right? Here, we'll see what we can do. Let's turn this off. Um, Yeah, you know what, guys? I think this video is getting quite long already. So, I think we could just probably empty this out in the beginning of another video. We'll try emptying out, like, a few things now, but... Yeah, there's just so much stuff. So much stuff in here. We, we really did pack this. We really did pack this. And I want to make sure this video gets out in time. If you guys act, uh, just fun fact. If you're watching this long, you can you can hear this fun fact. The fun fact is that I actually um, am recording this like shortly before I see it. Right now, for me, it is three thirty almost p.m. Um, the day you guys are seeing this, or the, hopefully it's the day you're seeing this. Um, if for some reason you don't see this video the day I record it, then there was no video out yesterday for you guys. Um, but yeah, either way. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just recording this simply, um, at, uh, 3.30 pretty much p.m. And this video for my time zone will need to be out at 5, uh, 5.30 p.m. So you have to think, okay, I still have to do the thumbnail. I still have to import this footage on, I have to export it off my computer onto my laptop, then import it onto my laptop, then I have to edit it, then I have to render it, then I have to upload which takes an hour and I or 30 minutes to an hour and then I have to do all the video settings and thumbnails and clickable cards and all that I have to choose a comment of the day I like this there, there, there's lots of stuff to do right the description tags right there's lots of things and I still have to eat today too but I might have to eat a little bit later you see see what you guys did now I don't get to eat because I'm recording this video. no I'm joking I'm joking I, I'm doing okay with food I'm doing okay with food. By the way, guys, um, I mentioned this on Discord. I just, I'm just going to talk about this quickly, very, very quickly, um, like the most basic way I can. But I mentioned on Discord kind of w that I had a stressful day kind of at school. Um, and I, I kind of touched on the reason. The reason was, uh, so I've, if you guys didn't know, I'm a good 12. So I've applied to all these colleges, and I actually got accepted to the two ones that I really want to go to, I got accepted to. I actually got accepted to two programs in one of them. So I got my dream colleges I got accepted to, right? Uh, places that it's like top of my list where I want to go to, I got accepted to. Uh, friends going to one of them. So it's just, it's it's good, right? Um, but the thing is, my school messed up. And when sending, so the way it works is you send in, they, they send in your uh, credit score. Your credit score is pretty much, all the courses you've ever done in high school that they have to look at um, to determine if you can go there or not, right? It's just to make sure that you've done, like, for example, like, uh, grade 12, the only mandatory course is English, right? Everything else is optional. Uh, you, you have to get a certain amount of credits, but the only mandatory course is English, um, and then the rest are just electives, so it's all your choice. In other grades, there's, like, uh, like grade 9, you have French, you have geography, you have lots of different things, right? Um you have like fitness class, everything. Grade 10, there's uh, like a few things are removed, but there's still a lot of mandatory courses. Grade 11, it's just English and math. And grade 12 is just English. Now, uh, so they sent it all in correctly at first and I got accepted. I, I got accepted. I was like so happy, right? And today I just see on my phone, like randomly, I see like a ton of emails, right? And it's all, we've revoked your... Um, acceptance due to you know having the necessary uh, high school credits and I was like what do you mean right I know the only necessary one for this year is English and while well, I have English period 3 so like I'm still as long as I pass I'm able to go to the school right um, and so pretty much what happened is their system or someone or something somehow that managed to send over all my grades, um, but my English credits. So they didn't have my grade 11 or 12 English credits, any of my colleges, because the system's all linked together. Which pretty much means 
that now they think that I'm going to do it in the summer or a different year, and I will no longer be able to go to uh, this school. And and that is the reason for me now being denied. But yeah, so it's all, it's all a mess. I have to get it fixed. Uh, well, there's really nothing I can do right now about it. It's just been a big stress because there's obviously my spot is going to be getting filled and stuff. Uh, and there's nothing to say that the colleges are going to look at my application again and accept me again, right? And again, like there's nothing, I, I, it's not my fault this happened and nothing I can do about it. I just have to kind of wait. My school has sent the correct information over now, but there's a good chance it's too late. If so, I could have to take a, extra, a, a year off school. I might have to go to school I don't want to go. Like there's lots of things that can happen. Um, so it's just, it's a waiting game now. So wish me good luck with that. Either way, we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Sorry about this video being a little bit long. Hopefully it's out on time. Bye bye. Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. If you want to see extra content, join our Patreon page.